someone lends you the keys to their boat, conveniently berthed in the Sundays, you don't ask questions. You just jump on the first flight out of Sydney and head straight there. Waiting for us in Ellie Beach was Neb's sparkling, speckle-coated Whitley CR2800. This thing had everything we needed. Now what it lacks in fishable space, it certainly makes up for in creature comforts. There's a microwave, four comfy berths, and 100 litres of fresh water. There's a banging sound system and even a sunroof. Power comes from a V6 Volvo Penta with duo props, perfect for manoeuvring around the bombies or cruising wide at 30 knots. Now along for the ride is the captain's red-headed bosun boy, Danny Fife. He's single and ready to mingle. Now, don't let that awkward, skinny, red head and pale skin fool you. He's a lady man and a demon on the grill. Danny was in luck. We bumped into Matty Schultz, Ely Beach local, who had a few Canadian friends in town that wanted to see the Whit Sundays. What better way to show them around than aboard the Whitley? After Danny had seduced the girls aboard the Whitley, it was time to switch the boat into party mode. With just the press of a couple of buttons, the sunroof was rolling back and the tunes were blasting. Danny even managed to ruffle up a nice cheese platter, got out a bottle of rosé. Pretty good job from the old boy. When most people think Whit Sundays, they imagine polo shirts and sailing regattas. But there are 71 awesome islands to explore, each of them remote and each of them are awesome fishing. One beach in particular that the girls fell in love with was Whitehaven. This place has got 98% pure silica sand, which means it's pure white, some of the whitest in the world. So, to the fishing. Maddie Schultz was dead keen on taking us out there and showing us how to stick bait for a few GTs. But the girls had other plans in mind, so we decided to just troll a few lures out the back and see what it jumped on. We caught spotted mackerel, a few Spanish, we even caught a cobia. But the best part of it all, catching long tail tuna. There was bust ups everywhere, and we had girls hooked up from the Whitley's bow, off the marlin board, there was just absolute chaos. Nev, you'll be pleased to hear we didn't spill a drop of blood on that Whitley Sunday. The marlin board, on the other hand, can't say the same. <laughs> now, Maddie tells us there are some big GTs in this area, and unfortunately, they eluded us on this trip. Rather like the Canadian girls eluded Danny's advances. You've got to give the boy big points for trying though. He worked that magma grill beautifully out the back. I never would have thought that a Whitley would be the perfect vessel for touring the Whit Sundays, but this thing was clutch. Having the ability to sleep on board, cook up your catch wherever you go was absolutely awesome. Now when it's all said and done, you just drop it on the dual axle trailer and tow it home with you.